Good. Right. Question five. The mass m of a substance at time t is like that. And find the rate at which the mass is decreasing. Uh, so as soon as we read this, I'm going to give yourself a, a little kick if you didn't differentiate this, because the, the rate the rate at which the mass is decreasing, that, that's the number we're going to have to differentiate. So we're after the m by the t, since we're talking about rate. And we know that when we differentiate this, we've got a little rule on our post that says e to the a x differentiates to a e to the ax. So this, the coefficient of t here is going to come down to from 58 times minus 0.33 <coughs> times e to the minus 0.33. <coughs> so that's what we get when we differentiate it, which gave us minus 19.14 e to the minus 0.33t. So now we sub in our value of 4. And we get dm by dt is, I think it's minus 5.1. It said to two significant figures, didn't it? So it's minus 5.1. It's 5.11 to three significant <laughs> figures. Um, I, this is one of these things where I would like to be pedantic, but the example really weren't. And I would like to think, the question says, find the rate at which the mass is decreasing. So the rate at which the mass is decreasing is 5.1. It's not minus 5.1. But they didn't check. They accepted minus 5.1 or 5.1. Do you get the point? It should have been 5.1. That's the rate at which it's decreasing. And uh, no, nobody really cares about units of measurement. Although if you want to put them, then that's great. What is that? Grams per year. We that right, part B. The mass of a second substance is increasing exponentially. The initial mass is 42 grams, and six years later, the mass is 51.8 grams. Find the mass of time 24 years after the initial value. Right. You, you, didn't, you didn't do this terribly well, but I, I reckon we've got two distinct methods here, haven't we? Do you remember we, we had questions that used both approaches? So... What you could do is you could think to yourself, this is going to be, um, it's increasing exponentially. So that means that the mass is a e to the kt. It's of that kind of form. And because the initial mass is 42, when t is 0, m equals 42, so that implies that a must be 42. If you sub those into that equation, we get 42 is a e to the 0. So we've got that m is 42 e to the kt. We're then told that six years later, the mass is 51.8. So six years later, if t equals 6, m is, what did I just say it was? 51.8. So 51.8 is 42 e to the 6 k. We now need to solve that equation for k, so that we know that the, what our constant is. 51.8 over 42, come on what that is, is e to the 6k. So 6k is the natural log of 51.8 over 42, so k is a sixth ln 51.8 over 42. Which is, it's, it's on here, 0.035. 0.0349. Okay. Um, and now we need to find the value of m when t is 24. So if t equals 24, m is 42 e to the 24 times that value of k, 1 sixth ln. 51.8 over 42. And if you put that into your calculator, you get, <coughs> you get 42 e to the 24 times 1 over 6 ln 2 recurring. 
51.8 over 42. I've put in the complete exact thing. Lots of brackets everywhere. 97.1787. So, do we, do, we say, do we say three significant figures? 97.2. figures. There we go. And that's, that's the answer. Um, I did say there were two ways that we could have done this. Do you remember doing these with little tables of values as well? So the alternative method here is to say that what we've got is a little table with our time and our maths in them. We've got that when t is zero, m is 42. We've got when t is 6, m is 51.8. And we're after 24. Um, so, so what we're thinking here is every time time goes up by 6, the mass is multiplied by our, our ratio there. So the mass is multiplied by 51.8 over 42. Okay. So to get to 24, we're going up by 6 four times. Um, so we need to multiply by that four times. So our answer is, what would it be, 42 times that to the 4 and do it that way and that gives you exactly the same name to 7. Does that make sense? You could have done your extended your table and done it along the way so you could have written what your answer was when t was 12 and then 18 and then 24. I think you might have done it that way by just doing it one, one multiply at a time. So that's that's the other main the other method for getting through. There we go. So that's that.